Hello to all you amazing people. My name is Trent Cody and today I'll be showing all of you how to disable game optimizing service on your Samsung device. Now, what is game optimizing service? Well, it's a program that is automatically installed on just about every modern Samsung device like your phone or tablet. Now, Samsung says that it is an app that aims to help you take full advantage of your device's performance when it comes to playing games. However, in practice, this means that it actually lowers your device's resolution, which honestly doesn't matter too much and may actually be somewhat of a performance benefit, but more importantly, it actually limits the performance of your phone while playing these games. Samsung confirmed that it had put performance limitations on more than 10,000 applications, such as ones like YouTube and Snapchat, but more importantly, it was also limiting performance in games such as Genshin Impact and PUBG Mobile. You know, apps which actually need the performance that was being withheld by game optimizing service. However, where it wasn't being activated were in benchmark applications like Geekbench and Antutu. This ended up being a pretty big issue as the performance being shown in those benchmarks were just not comparable to real world use cases, especially for gaming. And this even led to Geekbench banning all Samsung flagship phones from the S10 onward for quote unquote benchmark manipulation, which well, it is. However, in this tutorial, I will be showing you a quick and easy way to disable this service permanently. Please note that for this tutorial, you will need a computer. Step one, go into the settings app, scroll down to the about phone section, and then go to software information. Click on the build number until you see the message saying you are now a developer. Once you have done that, go back to the main menu and go into developer options. Then scroll down until you see the USB debugging option and then enable it. Step two, on your computer, go to the Universal Android Debloater GitHub page, link in description, and scroll down until you see the how you use it section. Download the Android platform tools and Universal Android Debloater GUI for your specific operating system and for Windows specifically, make sure to put them in the same folder. And if needed, download the Samsung USB drivers as well. Step 3. Launch the Debloater GUI and plug in your phone. Then go into the settings and check the first as well as third options. Finally, search for game optimizing service, I just type in game, and then disable it. You can also disable or uninstall other unwanted apps like Facebook as well with this application. It's actually really useful and I highly recommend it, especially if your phone is bloated. And that's it! You have now successfully disabled game optimizing service on your Samsung device. I will say, this may not be the best option in every single use case and for all devices. On my S20 FE with a Snapdragon 865, what happens is that I end up getting much Dang, higher peak performance, but sustained performance ends up staying the same or slightly better at the expense of slightly more heat. Disabling the service could actually be useful in day-to-day -day applications like YouTube and Snapchat where the peak performance could be useful in launching things quicker and in my day-to-day -day use cases disabling it doesn't do anything bad although it doesn't really do that much good it won't damage your device though just remember that this is a guide and not a recommendation even if you are using the same phone that i am so you'll just have to try it to figure out if disabling the service actually ends up helping you or not and if it doesn't or even makes games and other things run worse you can always reverse these changes but that's all for today thanks for watching and i hope you amazing people have an amazing rest of your day make sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons make sure to hit the bell to see my content the second i upload it i'll be seeing you until next time bye